Creating CGI crowds in Maya has been one of the most challenging aspects of any production, especially in the early days of modern VFX in the early 2000s, during which movies such as The Lord of the Rings needed thousands of characters to move in armies and interact with each other in large battle sequences. So how do they achieve such crowd simulations, and what are the tools and techniques used along the process? Before we continue, if you are a Maya user, you can actually take advantage of many great plugins that you probably haven't heard of. For example, Z-Rail from Vertexture, which helps you create patch polygons along your strokes directly on the mesh to make retopology really easy and fast. You can also check these animation plugins developed by Pavel for all different animation problems. I mean, a lifesaver kind of stuff. And if you want to be more efficient in modeling and texturing, you can check the plugins of Wizix, which are the real deal especially for hard surface modeling. So if you're interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Believe it or not, but there is a job title called Crowd Artist, which shows how important this part of the production is. It is actually a specialized type of 3D artist or technical animator who is responsible for creating large groups of digital characters. I mean, all types of crowds, whether it be in animation or live action productions. Their job is to simulate complex scenes involving hundreds of thousands of characters, making sure these crowds move believably and interact realistically in addition to blending seamlessly into the rest of the scene. Now, let's cut to the chase. Maya is great in everything, but alone, it wasn't the answer to create the most amazing crowd simulations, especially in the early days. The secret was, and it is still to a certain extent, third-party plugins developed by some smart people who know what they are doing. Let me explain. Maya itself provides the animation and scene layout foundation for crowds, but dedicated crowd simulation plugins are typically used to handle the complexity of hundreds or thousands of characters. And now, let me tell you about these simulation tools. A popular crowd simulation plugin is called Gollum, which is now integrated into Maya. You see, Gollum allows artists to populate scenes with controllable agents using Maya's native tools. Shows such as Game of Thrones features massive battle sequences and scenes that actually required large crowds, and they used Gollum to do so. In fact, multiple VFX vendors on the show used Maya with Gollum Crowd to achieve these sequences. And to be precise, Gollum was used by four separate studios, I mean on Game of Thrones, to build armies and crowds in shots across different seasons. For example, the loot train ambush in Season 7 involved huge armies of soldiers. The crowds were simulated in Maya and blended, of course, with live-action elements. But how did they do it? Crowd artists actually set up different soldier types like infantry and cavalry, with various armor and weapon appearances. And they used Gollum's behavior tools for changing and reacting to dragonfire, and took advantage of the plugin's collision avoidance to keep soldiers from clipping through each other. This crowd simulation tool is really powerful. It includes features from custom AI behaviors, in addition to automatic character variation and an interactive layout tool for editing simulations. And Gollum supports many render engines, like Arnold, V-Ray, Renderman, Redshift, etc. And the great thing, it can export crowd data to other 3D software, such as Max and Houdini. Originally, Gollum was launched in 2011, and it has been adopted widely in VFX, but recently, just last year, in 2024, Autodesk acquired Gollum, and has since bundled it with Maya to provide built-in crowd simulation tools, which I think is great for Maya users. Another Maya plugin for AI-driven crowds is called My Army, developed by BaseFound. My Army offers a rule-based brain system with fuzzy logic, similar in spirit to Massive, the standalone software used on Lord of the Rings, which we're gonna talk about later. You see, My Army enables complex decision-making agents, and it includes a physics engine for Randall Falls and having agents affected by forces or fluid simulations. And the great thing for productions is that my army integrates with Autodesk Motion Builder and Human IK for motion capture pipelines. It also supports modern render engines like Arnold 
V-Ray and Redshift with instances for efficiency. In addition to Golem and my army, studios sometimes use other solutions, like Massive, which was a pioneer in crowd simulation standalone software, known for its smart AI agents. In fact, Massive was famously developed specifically for the Lord of the Rings. This all started when Peter Jackson and Wada Digital began planning the Fellowship of the Ring in the late 90s. They realized traditional animation techniques wouldn't be sufficient to depict the massive and realistic armies needed for scenes like the Battle of Helm's Deep or the Siege of Minas Tirith. And simply, there wasn't enough time or budget to animate thousands of orcs and humans manually. So what I approached Stephen Regulus, who designed Massive specifically for this challenge. He created a system where digital characters, known as agents, could be given AI behaviors and motion data, allowing them to act independently in response to their environment. And in Massive, each agent in these scenes could detect the other agents nearby to navigate complex terrains like steep hills or castle walls and react appropriately, whether it be running, walking, retreating, or dying. And it is all based on a set of rules and AI logic, not just pre-animated clips. The sheer scale of the Battle of Helm's Deep would have been impossible to animate manually, and Massive provided animators a scalable solution that made everything look realistic. Another interesting tool for animating crowds, I mean inside Maya, is called Adam's Crowd. This is actually a newer framework that works with Maya and Houdini, offering a modular approach to crowds and it was used in projects like the Witcher series. It was actually integrated via Maya for animation and Houdini for physics. And by the way, SideFX Houdini also has its own crowd system, which some studios use instead of Maya plugins. But Maya-based solutions like Gollum have become more popular over the years. But still, Houdini can do amazing stuff. Now let's talk about the steps of animating these crowds. So when crowd artists start to simulate crowds, they first start by preparing agents or digital characters that will populate the crowd. These can be humans, animals, creatures, or even objects like cars. Agents are usually built and rigged in Maya or imported from another department, like modeling or rigging department. A single agent might come with a range of animation cycles, such as walking, running, idling, or reacting. And once there are agents or characters, it is time to jump to specialized simulation tools, like Golem Crowd, which if you are a Maya user, you get to use right away, without additional cost. These plugins, as I said before, allow you to build large and intelligent crowds quickly and efficiently. As opposed to doing crowd simulation otherwise, these crowd tools bring with them AI-heavy behavior-based simulations. They provide things like pathfinding, obstacle avoidance, behavior logic, animation blending, and procedural variation, which are features that Maya alone doesn't offer natively for crowds. The next important thing to do is to focus on behavior setup. In practical terms, artists define how each agent should behave. For example, a soldier might run towards an enemy, and a pedestrian might avoid obstacles. This can be done through state machines or visual scripting in the plugin letting agents transition between actions based on logic. After many steps or tweaking and adjusting the parameters of the crowds, the artist can actually achieve something that looks realistic and believable. Last but not least, let's talk about simulation and layout. After defining agent behaviors and scene parameters, like terrains, obstacles, and goals, the crowd artist runs simulations directly in Maya using the plugin, whether it be Golem, Massive, or My Army. They can preview how the agents behave, and then they can tweak the logic and adjust the spacing or movement. The layout tools let them edit the simulation afterwards, detecting or repositioning specific agents if needed. And at the end, they can create something that looks fantastic. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.